welcome all so i am going to start integration tests in asp.net core 3.1 so now that you have got a good knowledge and skill level of unit testing in asp.net core 3.1 watching the earlier four parts on unit testing i think you are ready for the deep dive into the integration testing okay so what is an integration test integration tests are that ensure that an app's components function correctly in coordination with its surround supporting infrastructure and are example of integration tests so integration tests are critical as they include the app's supporting infrastructure like file system database network and dependencies so asp.net core supports integration tests using a test framework with a test web host and an in memory test server now before moving further i would like to show you the github sample from microsoft source repository that i have integrated like i have done it in the part first four parts of this unit testing um, series where i have told you how to integrate um, the microsoft test sample project for unit tests so likewise i have created a project from the github repository and i will show you the end product that we are going to test so this is created straight out of microsoft source code sample so i have created a solution razor pages project and because this is in razor pages and razor pages project has got two uh, projects that is one is the main project the project under test or this is the system under test because we'll be doing integration test which is actually a system test sort of thing and it has got another test project which is razor page project dot test so a brief overview of where i got this source from now this is the repository asp.net core dot docs so i need to go right up to this within the integration tests and samples so i have to go from the root and clone this repository on my local server and then um, get it from there now from my clone destination on my local file system i have copied these two folders Uh, rather this particular folder integration test sample that actually contains this test and the uh, tests and the source which is in line with uh, this microsoft repository uh, structure you know uh, source code structure where you can see that you know if you go right up to the top and then start browsing to the test sample project so you have to go via this route Uh, ASP.NET Core, and then up to the tests, and then you go for this integration tests samples, and then 3.x for uh, ASP.NET Core framework three three and above, and then this is the Razor test project, and uh, this is the this is the test project, and the earlier was the source project. Okay, so. what i did after doing this was to create a solution uh, asp.net core web project not the mvc but the razor pages project the default is razor pages and then went straight up to that folder where i have uh, copied the cloned um, repository and then you can see if you double click and further click on to get to the project razor pages project dot cs proj so this is the project file for the main uh, project which will be system under test or sut it will be called and then there is also another project test project on this structure folder structure so razor pages pages project dot test dot cs proj so in turn i included both of these projects so i've got this complete solution 
and now if I test it through clicking test and run all tests actually I have run it already so you can see that all of the tests are have passed so now in the let's do a bit of a um, learning around what is integration tests and then in the next lecture I will be discussing in detail about these integration tests you know so integration tests in contrast to unit tests use actual components that the app uses in production and they require extensive code and data processing hence take more time to run and the Microsoft recommends limiting the use of these tests to the most important infrastructure scenarios and if the scenario could be tested by either unit tests or integration tests you have to choose the you should choose the unit tests now regardless of the number of places an app interacts with databases and file systems a focused set of current operation create retrieve update and delete operations are usually sufficient to adequately test the database and the file system components now let's see another slide so this uh, i have actually try to recreate as a workflow integration testing scenario so it contains the system under test which is the known as SUT in short which is the source project which is to be tested and this is the test project which contains and execute tests and there is a test runner which we have already I have shown that is a text explorer which executes and reports okay so integration tests follow a sequence of events that include the usual arrange act and assert test steps so now you have already seen how to arrange act and assert um, in the unit test series and SUT which is the system under test web host is configured there are a few steps and the second step is that test server client is created to submit request to the app and then in the arrange test step the test step test app prepares the request and in the act test step the client submits the request and receives the response and in the final assert test step the actual response is validated as a pass or fail based on the expected responses now the process continues till all the tests are executed now finally the test results are reported now usually the test web host is configured differently than the app's normal web host for the test runs okay now you need a particular microsoft.aspnet core .mvc .testing nugget package for the test web host and the in memory test service now this nugget package which i have just told microsoft.aspnet core .mvc .testing this nugget package copies the dependencies file from the system under test or SUT into the bin directory of the test project and also it sets the content route to the system under test projects route which makes the pages or views available when the tests are executed and it also provides a web application factory for which we will be testing in the next lecture we will be learning in detail what is a web application factory so it provides this new get package provides a web application factory class to streamline bootstrapping the SUT with the test server now it is important to note that there is virtually no difference between the configuration for tests for razor pages and MVC apps and only difference lies in the naming the tests so for razor pages tests are usually named after the page model class for example the index page tests to test the component integration for the index page and for MVC apps tests are usually named after the controllers they test that is for example the home controller test to test the component integration for the home controller so in this lecture we have seen what is the integration test and how they can test the dependency and the framework for the actual components and as compared to the unit tests these components are actual in production server and we have seen how to create a razor pages integration testing setup from the microsoft github repository and i have run the test to show the tests in action and in the next lecture we'll be talking about the tests in more detail